furniture, amazing prices. All right, I think we can kind of call it a little bit of a wild weather day. Uh, we're in December. We had rain, thunderstorms. We had hail, uh, windy conditions. Look at it right now. Live look for Solar Camera Network overlooking the city. Uh, rain on the lens, a little shaking there in the camera as well. The winds have picked up. Winds gusting this afternoon, 12 to uh, about 20 miles per hour, even uh, above that uh, through the afternoon. Certainly if you're in one of those thunderstorms that we had earlier today. Can't rule out a couple of showers tonight, uh, mainly over the next couple of hours, and then tomorrow we track colder air and a little bit of a light mix. Now, the thinking is most of our light rain, snow, few showers, some flakes will be along the lake shore, not expecting any accumulation, but that wintry mix returns for Tuesday, and that one has a little bit more uh, pop with it. Temps right now are in the mid 40s. It is a chilly rain. Cloud cover throughout the day it was a cloudy weekend too. No lightning, at least not locally. Cleveland, as you head downtown over towards Brexville, Strongsville, a little bit of light rain, southern uh, portions of Cuyahoga County. Also some rain showers, Ashtabula over to Menor. You can see a couple of showers there nudging their way down into eastern Cuyahoga, western portions of Portage County, and then back from Akron over towards Medina. Just a little bit of light rain. But overall, the trend here, this system's pulling out. It's going to pull some colder air in that we're going to deal with tomorrow. So today we were around 50. Tomorrow we're only going to be in the upper 30s to near 40. So your first alert weather evening for tonight. Temps mainly in the upper 30s, low 40s, a little bit of rain, some wind, mainly early on. Take a look here at first alert future view. You can see not a lot of action around 11 p.m. Few showers around tomorrow morning. This is what I'm talking about. We have some rain, snow. Uh, again, with air temperatures this far above freezing, I'm not really expecting much of this really to stick. It's just going to be more annoying flurries and some light rain. Temperature tomorrow around 40. That'll about do it. That's uh, below average for this time of the year. We should be in the mid 40s. By tomorrow night, we start to decrease the cloud cover a little bit, but overall staying relatively chilly. New data alert. Let's talk about Tuesday. Tuesday, a little bit more of a vigorous system comes in. We start the day with clouds and then watch through your Tuesday. This is a little rain snow mix, but notice there's a lot more moisture out here, especially across the south. This is going to be some potential wet snow mixing in with some rain Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening, especially again away from the lakeshore. How much are we talking? All right, snow tracker. It's not much. These numbers mainly uh, are an inch or less is the thinking. So a uh, dusting up to perhaps a half an inch or an inch of that slushy snow and not a lot of that at least the way it looks right now will accumulate on the roads. But again, it is something worth watching. We do warm up a little bit Wednesday, more so on Thursday. I think Friday could be the warmest day of the week with a temperature around 50. And then we track a little bit more rain coming in for Saturday and even into Sunday. So overnight lows in the mid 30s tonight. A few early showers, chilly and breezy. That thunder threat is diminishing. Uh, so we really don't have to worry about that much at all. 40 tomorrow only. Morning mix mainly along the lake shore. And then take a look at our seven day light. Light mix on Tuesday, chilly on Wednesday, but we're dry. Thursday and Friday are nice weather days here. Mid 40s on Thursday with some sun, low 50s on Friday. And then it does look like we bring in a little bit of rain coming in Saturday. Sunday right now looks a little rainy. Showers and wind for the Browns and the Jaguars next Sunday downtown. Um, temperatures, though, relatively mild once we get through the first part of the week. Caitlin.